Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Subnautica. So, we survived another trip to Mountain Island, despite the best efforts of a very, very determined warper. Uh, right now, we're just going to pick up a bunch of metal on our way back. Carry what we can. We need to start building our new Cyclops, and uh, basically, my plans at this point are to try and find out a way to kill all of the warpers in the world. I decided this between episodes, but I am done with warpers in every shape and form. I mean, they only have one, but you know what I mean. Um, I just want them all dead. And I don't care what the actual plot of this game is anymore. My plot, my intent, my purpose in life now is to murder all the warpers in the world. There's got to be a way of doing it. They are powered from a central place. We know this. I shall find that central place. And as I hear a warper coming in to muck around with my fun. Um, all I want to do is find a way to kill them, kill them all. You know, I think that's really what the what the plot of Subnautica is. It's how to kill all the warpers in the world. That's really the only thing that matters to anyone, be they man or beast. Ooh, actually, okay. we actually managed to get some more diamond there. That's pretty good. Uh, we have no diamond back at base, and we need diamond. This this area is not bad actually. I, I can hear warpers, but I can't see them, so they're not spawning on the shallow side. Which is good to know. Right, let's grab as much metal as we can. Which is probably not very much more. Yeah, inventory is full. What am I carrying that I don't need right now? If I get rid of that gold, I can pick up another piece. Now, I wouldn't mind finding some more stalker teeth while we're here as well. Have I got something I'd drop for stalker teeth? Not really. Unfortunately, because I've got this defense system installed that, by the way, seems to do nothing, I don't actually have the, f the storage I'm used to. I mean, that one is just full of goddamn gold. Hang on. Right, did I? Okay, I did. Whoa, what? Oh, I'm holding. I don't want to hold it. 30 seconds. What? What is happening here? Just, all I'm trying to do is drop some salvage. I have no idea what just happened. What have I moved? I've changed something. There we go. I just want to get rid of some of the gold. Oxygen. There we go. We're fine. We're fine, trend computer. Stop panicking. Okay, there we go. That's kind of optimised that a bit more. What did I have equipped that I don't have equipped anymore? Okay, no, I think we're fine. I don't think I dropped anything by accident. Uh, right, I'm going to head in that direction, and we're going to keep an eye out for Stalker Teeth now I've made some space in my inventory. Luckily, because we came through this area earlier, it should have been active while we've been mucking about elsewhere. So hopefully the Stalkers have been doing their usual Stalker stuff, kind of off-camera, and might have actually dropped a few Teeth already, if we're lucky. If we're not lucky, we might have to just stalk some Stalkers and wait for them to drop their teeth. Which really isn't a great harvesting mechanic, I have to say. I would prefer... I would much prefer... if there was a way of actually actively harvesting stalker teeth. But that, that doesn't seem to be the case. They don't seem to have provided that functionality. You just have to wait for them to drop their teeth of their own accord. And there's not much else you can do about it, apart from just keep moving and keep looking and keep waiting. But, you know, I wouldn't mind being able to kill a stalker and then get teeth from it. I know that's a bit mean to stalkers in general, but just watching stalkers and waiting for them to drop teeth isn't... It's not a really a fascinating game mechanic. That stalker's really bad at catching fish, is what I can tell. Come on, guys, pick up a bit of metal or something. I think they drop teeth when they pick up metal, so if he could pick up that piece of metal, that'd be lovely. Go on, go on. Oh, Christ, okay. I don't know why you suddenly turned around and got angry at me. You were actually closer to me and then turned around. And then came back and got angry. That doesn't make much sense, but okay. Come on, boys. Someone. Look, you've all got plenty of teeth. You're just being greedy now. You don't need all your teeth, okay? Ooh, okay. FPS, please. Please, FPS. We're good. Right. Is there any... 
Okay, they're all just getting angry at me. Just drop your bloody teeth. I swear to God. I'm like a very angry tooth fairy at this point. Uh, it would also help if it was daytime, because then I'd be more easily able to see teeth lying on the ground, because they don't stand out very much against sand, being basically the same colour. But if we stay in this area, the stalkers will be active, they will be loaded into the game, they will be doing stuff that I can't see off camera, and that should mean that the teeth are being generated somewhere. It's just finding them. And I forgot how much I hated finding stalker teeth. Come on, buddy. Have you dropped any teeth? How's your dental plan working out? Apparently they've... Ooh, God. I know stalkers are attracted to metal, but honestly, what about the Seamoth makes this thing look appetizing that they want to come and attack it? Okay, he picked up something. He did not drop any teeth. Oh, no, there's one. God damn, that is really hard to see. Okay. I've got to be careful here because I have already lost a chunk of health, so if I get attacked, I'm going to have a bad day. But I really need some stalker teeth. Because if we need to make any more enamel glass, well, stalker teeth is the only way of doing that. In this whole ocean, of all the resources we have, teeth from stalkers, two twos from stalkers, is the only way we know of doing it. Okay. I'm just going to keep wandering around until we see teeth. Again, like an angry tooth fairy. This is what the game has reduced me to. The game has reduced me to being the angriest of all tooth fairies who's also getting increasingly hungry because he didn't bring food on this mission because he didn't think he would take this long, to be honest. Come on. Come on. Someone someone have bad dentistry. Someone have a high sugar diet. Someone... Someone just ram their head into a rock and lose teeth. I mean, I swear to God, people lose teeth all the time. How is it this hard, guys? Something about hunting stalker teeth that makes me go slightly crazy. Ooh. Sorry. My bad. Okay, now I can't actually... Well, first off, now I can't actually see any stalkers, which is a problem. And also, there's a really loud plane outside. Someone's a bit low. I do live near an airport, so it's not entirely unusual, but still. That sounded like quite a low approach. Okay, right, we're back to these guys now. And it's been a while, and maybe they've picked something up, and maybe they've dropped some teeth. I would really like it if the sun would come up as well, though, because I, I like being able to see when I'm trying to find stuff like this. Come on. Someone... Do something. Nope. Okay, he attacked a fish. Didn't kill it, though, which is surprising. Did he drop a tooth? No. Will one of you pick up some bloody metal? you got metal over there. Why are you not picking it up? Maybe this is the stash. Maybe I need to move the metal. Okay, tell you what. Right, I'm going to give you guys a new bit of metal. There we go. Nope. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, look. Guys, 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 where are you? There's, there's new, look, new metal. detected. That's fine. Okay, I've got this water. There we go. Hey, he picked up the metal, and now he's got a bit of tooth. I mean, now we've got a tooth. And they're... Woo! They're fighting over it. Did you see that? Like, that guy had it, and then that guy took it, and they both dropped a tooth. That's kind of cool. And now... Oh, it's... I don't know. Now I need to get those teeth, and... Oh, now there's three teeth here. Perfect. Okay, that worked out really well. And then a new bit of metal spawned in. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, I've got to be a little careful because I, ca I can't get eaten while trying to grab all these teeth. They both swarm from that way. Right, go, go, go. Stalker tooth. Stalker tooth. Where'd the third one go? Oop, okay, he's come back. Let's get somewhere safe. Is he after me or a fish? He's after a fish. Where did that third tooth go? Come on. If the sun is coming up, I should be able to spot it fairly easily in a moment. I know I saw a third one drop, and I've only picked up two. Oh, that might be it. Can I actually... How many, how many 
Oh yeah, I can fit plenty more. Wait, why can I hang on? Why have I got so much space in my inventory? Oh, because I've dropped two bits of metal now. Okay. That's fine. I think I just saw it at the corner of my eye. Or maybe not. Damn, this is for one tooth, this is taking so much time and effort. There it is. It's right in that grass. Jesus, that's hard to find. Look, buddy. All I want is a tooth that you've dropped and don't care about, okay? There is no need for this attitude, okay? No need at all. Where is it? Look, just want a tooth. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. I'm leaving. I'm done. That was the longest ten minutes of my life. And I bet, like, on the way back, we're just going to find a whole bunch of stalker teeth that have been dropped in this area while we were over in that area. Um, I do need to pick up a bit more metal, actually. <sighs> Interestingly, the stalkers aren't actually causing any damage when they attack us. Either they're missing every single time... Actually, I don't know. Just Yeah, they're just not doing any damage. I can hear them hitting the hull, but we're still on 100% health, which is weird. Okay. Let's head back, because we're going to starve to death soon, and this is not how I want to die. Fixated on hunting stalker teeth that I don't actually need right now. I do already have all the enameled glass I need. So this is probably not the way, the place I should come to to die. Okay, let's hang a right. This is just, this course takes us around the underwater island zone. I could go across the surface of it, but I knew I needed to go and try and get metal and uh, stalker teeth, so it made sense to go this way, I thought. Also means that if we were in a lot of trouble, we can head back to the lifeboat quite easily. And that's got some food, it's got some water, it's got uh, medical supplies and all that. So it can be a lifesaver, actually. Last couple of episodes, that lifeboat has been really, really handy. Okay, home. Sweet home. Let's get this thing docked up so we can recharge. We've used up a fair bit of power. Now I've taken some damage because I've just hit fish. Didn't take any damage from actually being attacked by hostile creatures, but because I ran over a fish, Welcome we took 7% damage. Interesting. And by interesting, I mean kind of weird, let's be honest. Hey, Bob. You useless fat shark who's stuck and causes FPS issues in my base. Uh, let's eat some food before I die. One at a time, because that's all the space I have for. Okay, right. What do we need to do? We need to start processing our titanium and our salvage, and I need to like deposit stuff so the stalker teeth can go in the organics room. There's no room in the organics because of everything else. I need to build more storage. Where am I going to build more storage? I suppose I could start lining the corridors down here. It's been a while since I've had to do that. Where's the builder? I can't even remember what those storage lockers require. Glass and two titanium. That I can probably do. Let's process some of that titanium and build a couple more storage lockers because it's getting a bit silly. I'm squeezing bits and pieces into all the places just to try and make stuff fit. When all I need is glass and a couple of titanium. That gives me my titanium. Um, we've got tons of quartz, so I can make glass. Oh, and I should grab a health kit, because I need to stop dying. There we go. How many have we got stored up? We've only got four stored up. I, need to, I might build another one of those, just so we can get the double med kits coming out. We've certainly got the power for it, so I think we could. I think we can afford it. Can I get a storage locker in this corridor? I have done this before. There we go. Just push it back as far as I can so it's out of the way. Okay, right, and let's put another one here. We're going to put them both on the same side because I don't want to accidentally block the corridor off. Because knowing my luck, I'll fill these all with stuff and then realise I've blocked the corridor off by building them on either side of each other. And then, you know, not be able to get through and just stuff. Damn it. Every time you look at Bob, it causes an FPS spike because, well, 
it doesn't know what the hell Bob's doing. Bob's glitching through everything, which is kind of weird. Okay, um, what do I need? I need to deposit all the stuff I don't care about right now. We have an organization system. It's kind of gone down the tubes recently, um, just because I've got so much stuff that I'm storing. I don't even know if I need to be storing half of it. Okay. Uh, right, let's go grab more of the stuff that we just brought back. Oh, oh, damn it, I thought Bob was gone for a minute. I'm hoping he is going to actually just fuck off one day. He's been in, stuck in the base for a long time now, and I'm just hoping, I keep hoping, he's going to find his own way out. I mean, he managed to find his way in here with the update. Why do I have so much gold? Why does the game give you so much gold, but then not require gold for anything? It's a bit weird. Like, the spawn rate and the usage doesn't quite match up. I mean, well... Let's be honest, I suppose I don't actually have to pick it up. The game doesn't force me to pick it up every time it gets dropped, does it? But it's kind of instinctive at this point. You know, you you do the double click to break a rock, and then you do a third click to pick it up, and I do that subconsciously. So I'm picking them up before I even realise what it's dropped. Is that all the titanium we brought back? Oh shit, I didn't actually bring that much titanium back at all, did I? Okay. Uh, we're definitely going to need another titanium run. That was not enough titanium. Okay, we've got, we've got six diamond though, so that means I could actually make another three purple artifacts if I needed to. Do we actually know how to make any of the other artifacts? Okay, we do actually know how to make blue artifacts. An iron crystal and two diamond. It's actually the same recipe, interesting. But I don't know how to make an orange artifact. And you know why that is? That's because I never scanned the orange artifact before I used it. That was done with me. Okay, next time we see an orange artifact, I definitely, definitely need to make sure that we recover that, uh, that we scan it, because that would be that would be incredibly useful. Uh, let's see. We're just going to go and get more titanium, aren't we? Uh, break down the bit I've got on me right now. Okay, we should be able to make two titanium ingots, maybe. Can I get another one? Damn it, no. Uh, let's see, where am I storing all my titanium? It's kind of in here, but then all the acid mushrooms are in here. Uh, I guess for now that'll just have to fit. So yeah, we still need two more ingots before we can get anything further done. That's not that bad. We can probably do that in a single run. The other thing we can do, where is that extra storage unit? There we go. I'm going to take that storage unit and put that back on the seam off. The defense system doesn't seem to do anything whether it's on or off. I've not noticed it helping in any way, uh, in particular with warper attacks, which are probably the most dangerous thing we've got. So let's get rid of that, pop that on. At least I can carry more stuff, which is what I need to do. Oop, we can see Bob's ass hanging at the bottom of the base there. Eventually he might work his way out. Eventually he might actually manage to get his way out of there. I, I, would I, I miss the days when I didn't have a pet shark. An angry pet shark in my base, swimming through the air. I mean, to be fair, it could be much worse. Bob is actually quite inoffensive. He makes a lot of noise, occasionally blocks up half, but it doesn't seem to be damaging stuff like I feared at the start. I thought he was actually breaking the base, but I haven't noticed any mounting damage and I haven't done any repair work for a while, so... You know, he could be breaking the base. He could actually be trying to eat us. You know, he actually does... He gets angry when we're nearby, but he doesn't attack us. You know, if he tried to attack us... Uh, every time we went into the room that stores all my food, which is... Oh, whoa! You're moving at quite a pace, Jesus! Okay... Why were you moving so fast? Never seen one of them move that fast. Uh, yeah. It could be a lot worse, I think. The, uh... Of all the things that the shark could do when trapped inside your base, inside your main food room, occasionally blocking the doorway is is okay by me. Uh, let's see, I'm actually tempted to head back over towards the mountain area. I mean, we might find more stalker teeth, but there's definitely metal over that way. I feel like metal in the shallows area doesn't respawn as often as it used to now. Because it used to respawn a lot, and I, I don't even know if it respawns at all. I mean, maybe there's a finite amount of titanium on the map. That would be terrifying, because if I keep losing prawn suits and cyclopses, that would be very, very bad for all of us. 
Like, there used to be pick up all metal around here, and there's not anymore. So maybe it's not respawning, or maybe it only respawns in certain areas. Well, we know where there is some, so let's head over this way. Here we go. This region over here is perfect, because we don't have too much of the kelp forest but it still spawns metal at kind of the same rate as a kelp forest, so you can see more without all props. Hey, no, no, no. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I can actually outmaneuver you because for some reason I'm a better swimmer than you, which is fine by me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yep, suck it. Hey, don't take that tone with me. If you drop more teeth, maybe I'd leave metal for you, hey? Bet you didn't think about that, did you? I'm back talking a fish here. Actually, I'm not even, it's not even back talking. I'm the fi technically it never said anything to me in the first place. I'm just going mad. I have been stuck alone on this planet with no one to talk to for. Well, actually, do we actually know how long we've been here for? Almost a year, technically. According to the game, my character has been alone on this planet for almost a year. We have neither seen nor spoken to a living person in 303 days. That's... yeah. That's a lot longer than I thought, actually. Really? 303 days? I mean, I guess... I mean, I know time's sped up and all that, but still. That's pretty impressive. Uh, we could probably use some copper ore, because we'll have to make a bunch more batteries. And silver ore is always handy. Let's grab what we can on this mission. But yeah, 303 days. Damn. That's a long time to be alone. I mean, we've kind of we've seen other people. Uh, you know, people did come try and rescue us, and then they died. So that's probably even more depressing. Oi, you, I. Fine, you just bloody sun. Get off my boat. Okay. Any more salvage? Where were those two guys I was getting very angry at last time? Because we're right back here by the mountain now. So I don't want to go any further that way because that's warpers. Uh, I don't know. I think warpers are behind me. I think there's a leviathan in front of me, but I'm going to push on around here a bit. Just to see what we can see. We're going to keep our eyes and ears open. Um, Uranite, I don't really need right now. There's a couple of outcrops here that I might try and go for some, get some diamonds. Gold. Why did I pick it up? I know I don't need gold. Why do I keep picking it up? Like, one, two, oh, oh three. Okay. And then gold. Yeah, right. We don't need gold. You. Oh, no, shoot. Hang on, I didn't mean to do that. Don't. Okay, that was fine. I thought I was about to fire my seam off into the sun. That was not what I was trying to do there. Ooh, here we go. That's a nice, cl nice cluster of outcrops. I know there's a leviathan over in that direction. Um, I do not want to find him. Actually, no, I don't want him to find me. And we've got some magnetite. We're losing the sunlight. And gold. Fantastic. Uh, there is some metal over here. Let's grab that. Okay, that's about as far as in that direction as I want to go, to be, to be honest. Of all the troubles we've had recently, I do not want to be adding a Leviathan to them. Oh, God. The change between biome soundtracks sometimes. They they could do on working on that a bit. Oh, ooh, I saw that. I saw that. You got some metal and you dropped a tooth. I will have both of those bits of metal. Thank you, friend. Oh, okay. You're going to go... Oh, if you pick up the other one, you're going to drop another tooth. No. Okay, we're going to be quick about this. That is actually a good bit of luck. Oh, shit. He took the metal right there. Okay, that's fine. Well, now you dropped your metal because you got angry at me. So, you know, if you can't control your temper... Ah! Wait, get off the Cyclops. Uh, the Steam off. Didn't do any damage. Yeah, I don't think they do any damage to it anymore. These guys, their bark is worse than their bite. At least to this. 
Okay, you're just nosing through that metal, so clearly... Clearly you don't want that metal either. I mean, you're not picking up, you're not playing with it, you're just nosing it. So, uh, don't mind me. I'll have that. Thank you very much. Okay, are you still chasing me? Nope, you've fought better at chasing me. Good man. Still got a bit of metal there to play with, but you didn't drop a tooth, which would have been that would have been handy if you could have dropped a tooth. If you could have seen your way to having poor dentistry, I would have taken that. Okay, that might actually be enough metal now. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking is there's probably just about enough metal to do what we need to do, but it's going to use up all of our metal to get a new Cyclops. I mean, uh, we don't need anything. We don't need it for anything else. Okay, I'm going to call it there. I think let's um, let's start heading back. This episode actually, this episode has run on quite a bit longer than I intended. So um, we'll pick up what metal we can on the way back, but we're basically going to beeline back to home and back to safety. Overall, that was pretty successful. We should have enough. We should be able to build the Cyclops at the very least. The problem is we've got to also build all the upgrades for it. Losing the Cyclops and all of its contents and upgrades is what the real killer here is. Prawn suit wasn't too bad, but I mean the Cyclops was. We had a whole. We had a whole bunch of upgrades for that, and I've got to rebuild all of those. That's what's really going to suck. That's what's going to take a lot of time to do, and I might have to do some of that off camera. I normally don't try to avoid doing stuff off camera, so you guys get to see that, you know, see so everyone who watches this Let's Play can understand what the grindy parts of the game are. But I think, yeah, I think that's going to be too much grind. I think no one really wants to watch me just repeat the same thing over and over. You've seen me build the Cyclops before, you've seen me go through all the steps required to get all the upgrades for it. Do I want to make you sit through that again? Maybe, because there's a good chance I'm going to die while trying to do it, so you might, you might enjoy that. But we'll have to see. Anyway, let's get ourselves docked up back at home. And I think I'm going to call this one here. So, let's get ourselves back on board. Welcome aboard, Captain. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully, I'm going to see you all later for the next one of these. Bye.